welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brad Cooper. I'm a tad worried that I'm going to trigger some people with this episode and with my thoughts on this, but I just feel like it needs to be said. Before I jump into it, make sure to like this video, and if you're not subscribed already, subscribe to this channel and then ring that bell so that you never miss a comment section segment. Yesterday, Taylor Swift gave the commencement address at NYU, where she was also granted an honorary doctorate at the university. So here, Taylor Nation, which is like her fan base, posted a photo and did a quote from her speech and said, I'm trying to tell you that losing things doesn't just mean losing. A lot of the time when we lose things, we gain things too. Our honorary doctorate. Now, Taylor Swift never went to college, which is totally fine. And like I've said before, I don't think that everybody needs to go get a degree. I don't think everybody needs to go through the higher education system. It worked for me, I loved it, but it's not for everybody. But she has talked extensively before and on record and in different interviews how she would like to go and get some sort of degree or attend college in some way. So for her, it was very meaningful that she, you know, was able to put on a cap and gown for the first time and that they gave her this honorary doctorate. But I kind of have mixed feelings about these honorary degrees because it's like all these people are graduating who have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars, blood, sweat, and tears going through years of school. And then they just hand somebody. And even though, you know, the people are accomplished usually who are getting these honorary degrees, it really just feels like a win for the university. Like now they get to be associated with this famous person and somebody at the university, you know, gets to shake hands and rub shoulders with a celebrity for a few minutes. <laughs> It is a publicity stunt and it doesn't feel too authentic. I'm not gonna, you know, die on this hill because it's not the biggest, you know, problem in our world right now, but it's something that I've always looked at and kind of gone like, really? Especially when it's celebrities, but I don't know. It's just, it's never been something that I loved. So anyway, Taylor Swift got her doctorate in fine arts. People in these comments, while most of them were, you know, hashtag Swifties, there were a few people that I felt like I resonated with. Like somebody said, these honorary degrees are just a slap in the face to those students who actually put in the time and hard work. Congrats to them. An honorary degree is a high level academic recognition granted by a university to a recipient without the completion of the normal requirements for that degree. Schools grant them to honor the recipient while also benefiting the university by association. This means that someone at NYU just wanted to meet Taylor Swift. It's really not that big of a deal, it's something that's gone on for a while, but it is like, it is kind of silly. And Taylor Swift seemed very happy about it. Like she posted a bunch like in her cap and gown. It was very meaningful to her. So I'm glad she got to have that experience. But I was like, girl, the real college experience is staying up until 3 a.m. like crying over a paper or being up at 5 a.m. cramming before a biology exam. Why must life be so hard? That's the real stuff. She's worked her ass off. She's incredibly successful. I've definitely listened to her music on occasion, so I'm not saying that she hasn't worked hard. It's just, you know, it's different lanes. That's all. So that's the honorary degree stuff. She also gave the commencement address. And I was scrolling on TikTok last night, as I do, and I started seeing clips from it. You know, celebrities get up and do them all the time, and they're usually humorous. They're fine. But Taylor did a speech on her life hacks, and I really wanted to love it. But it just felt like a compilation of all of these quotes that you would see on some like teenage girl's bedroom wall. Never be ashamed of trying. Effortlessness is a myth. I'm a big advocate for not hiding your enthusiasm. Another good wall Life quote. can be heavy, especially if you try to carry it all at once. It's just a continuation of the idea that we are so many things all the time. And I, like, I'm sorry, I shouldn't, I, I shouldn't giggle, but like, it is so obvious that she grew up in the Tumblr era. Like, am I wrong? For those of us, like I was on like the ending cusp of it, but I still, you know, in middle school would go on the Tumblr app and like find like Tumblr quotes about like carrying the weight of the world. And like that kind of quote would pop up. Like it, she is reading quotes from Tumblr because the people graduating in 2022 I mean, they probably, I don't know if they would have been in the Tumblr. Well, they're around my age, so I guess maybe so. Like, that's the vibe that it gives me. Literally, like a Tumblr post. And while those are, like, fun and cute, and I definitely, like, posted some of those quotes back in my day, I feel like at a commencement address, I would rather hear things about how to get started in the adult world. Like, 
for the people that have never paid taxes before, what that means, how to find freaking health insurance, which actually, if you're interested in a better alternative to health insurance, if you want something that is, you know, free market, that is capitalist oriented, you should try Crowd Health. Crowd Health is the alternative to our broken healthcare system. It is a crowd funded healthcare community with no surprises, no enrollment periods, no doctor networks, and 100% of your monthly contribution goes to actual health costs for you and your fellow members, which is why they're able to provide such incredible prices. So stop paying money to health insurance companies that give you nothing in return. Go to joincrowdhealth.com and use code COOPER for a special deal of $99 a month for three months. Guys, it is time to get healthcare out of government and it is time to get Taylor Swift off of this commencement stage. But you know what? We're going to keep watching the videos anyway. Somebody said, I didn't even want to go to my graduation, but for Taylor, I've been crying all day. Y'all, I didn't go to my graduation ceremony, but it was also in the height of COVID and they said that I couldn't bring anybody and we couldn't talk to anyone and we had to sit like six feet apart. And I was like, why on earth would I go sit in the hot LA sun by myself, six feet away from people where I can't even hear the speaker. My mom can't even come. Why would I go do that? So I skipped it and I think I went and got margaritas with my mom, which is much better. Somebody said, who needs a therapist when we have Taylor? Who needs a therapist when you have Tumblr quotes? So this might be hard for you to hear. In your life, you will inevitably misspeak, self-sabotage, create a reality where only your experience exists. Like all the terrible things that you could do. Perfectly good moments for yourself and others. Hit rock bottom. Finally address the pain you caused. Try to do better next time. Rinse, repeat. Live long and prosper. Actually, maybe go see a therapist. Might be good. I'm an advocate for it. That's like the laundry list of every, you know, bad thing that you could do in your life. Yes, we do all make mistakes. And the key is to take responsibility for it. And I think that that's what was missing in this list was that, yeah, we feel guilty and then it eats away at us. And then we just do it again. It's like, well, where was the, you know, let's take accountability from our actions and learn and maybe not be an <laughs> asshole again. I'll do what I want, when I want, and how I want. And I'm not going to lie. These mistakes will cause you to lose things. I'm trying to tell you that losing things doesn't just mean losing. A lot of the time, when we lose things, we gain things too. Literally a Tumblr quote. Am I wrong here? That is peak 2011 Tumblr. It's giving the end of a Disney high school movie. Yes. Like the little inspirational speech at the end that was written by like a Disney Channel writer. And everybody's like, the parents are like wiping tears. Like, yes, 100%. Somebody says she needs to write a book of all the things she knows. You don't need to hear it in a book. It's literally on the internet. It is on Tumblr. So, Tumblr quotes. Let me find some good like 2014 ones. I'm telling you. All right, here we go. Here we go. If it costs you your peace, it's too expensive. Build up the confidence to try. Do what makes you smile. That's all. I'm always addicted to the wrong things. You, for instance. <laughs> It's hard to sleep when your heart is at war with your mind. How can my feet smell if they don't have a nose? You were the spring in my cold December heart, but suddenly you became fall and all my flowers died. <laughs> How beautiful to find a heart that loves you without asking you for anything but to be okay. Mistakes do not define you. There we go, Taylor. There we go. This is the stuff that I would post. Anyway, so yeah, just put all of those together in a book and you basically got Taylor's speech. Somebody else said, I graduated from NYU in 2004 and we got the CEO of Toyota. This is a much cooler speaker. You had a CEO come and talk to you and you would rather hear a string of Tumblr quotes from Taylor Swift? Now, don't get me wrong. I've said it before. I like Taylor Swift, but when I'm graduating after four years of blood, sweat, and tears, I want to have some motivation from, you know, I don't know. Well, I guess she's rich, so I guess it's fine. But me personally, I would rather hear from a CEO that's going to tell me to like pull myself up by my bootstraps and work hard and, you know, keep your nose to the ground than like, it's okay just to be confused. <laughs> there was one line in there where she goes, you have to be comfortable with the cringe because you will look back on your life and you will and you will cringe. Yes, I do look back on my life. I look back at the Tumblr quotes that I posted and I cringe, but also I don't really think that's something I would want to hear in my commencement address. I don't know. Those are my thoughts. Let me let me know in the comments if you think that I am overreacting. I don't think that I am. 
I also don't think I'm being mean about this. I think I'm just laughing at it because personally, if I was sitting there, I would be like, get me the hell out of here. So anyway, let me know if you would like Taylor Swift as your commencement speaker or what you think about this speech because I don't know. I might have triggered some people, but who cares? It's the name of the game. Do you want to be the only person not caught up on the internet's latest news? I didn't think so. So make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell so you never miss an episode.